clear about something. Most college and high school athletes will not go professional. Let me say it again. Let me make it more direct. Only 1% of high school athletes will ever make it into the NFL or the NBA. And only 1% of all the rappers in the hood will ever get signed to a major label and be able to live comfortably off of that deal. What am I saying? Stop trying to be a rapper? No. Stop trying to be a football player? No. Stop trying to be a basketball player? No. I'm saying, where is your plan B if your plan A fails? That's all I'm saying. And parents, I'm going to put it on y'all. Because some of you got your sons playing basketball and football and he fell in the hell out of school. What is he doing on the team? You raising a career criminal and then we start selling crack, stealing cars, robbing pocketbooks and he goes to jail. You won't blame him. Blame yourself. You raised him as a criminal. In fact, if I go in your houses now, how many of you got a dictionary in your house for your children? A thesaurus in your house for your children? How many of you got a set of encyclopedia in your house? Computer. Because if I walk in your house and I don't see no bookshelf, I know this is a criminal incubator right now. <laughs> I'm giving it to you real. We ain't got to wait till he's 21. I can tell you right now if he's going to jail. <laughs> I've spoken in every prison in Philadelphia, every single one. Every prison in Philly I've been in, I've spoken with the inmates. And you know what never ceases to amaze me? I don't care what prison I go to. CFCF, House of Corrections, pick. The one up there on 17th and uh, Lehigh. You know, they even got jails in the hood. You don't even know they jails. I thought that was a new apartment complex. That's a damn jail. They bring them in the back. I'm serious. And whenever I talk to the brothers and sisters, this black woman, you're the fastest growing group in incarceration population. Every time I look in the group, I see four or five faces of young bucks who was in my schools when I was principal or school psychologist, who thought everything was funny, who said, Dr. Umar, I don't need to get my learn on. I got another way to get money. And now they see me now. What you doing in here, man? You was right, God. Can you write a letter to the judge? <laughs> it's sad. Because I saw him in third grade. And I didn't see nobody doing nothing about it. Mommy and daddy thought it was cute. I saw him in the sixth grade. Nobody doing nothing about it. I don't have to wait till they're 20. I can tell you at 10 if the boy won't do time or not. Based on how he being raised. I'm a parent too. We all come in three types. Black, white, rich, and poor. You got passive parents, you got aggressive parents, and you got balanced parents. A passive parent is a parent who loves their child and don't give them no damn discipline. He get whatever he want for Christmas, whatever she want for Easter, whatever for their birthday. They get all the love and all the hugs and that's my baby and they can have anything that they want except discipline, except responsibility, except accountability. Those of you who think it's cute to spoil a black child. You think it's cute? My son spoiled. I gave that boy everything I never got from my parents, but you just messed them up. Because a man is supposed to be a provider. A man is supposed to be able to work. He's supposed to have an ethic and a discipline. And if you spoil him, he never becomes a man. Overgrown boy for life. That's the passive. Tends to be female, but we have some males. And then on the other end, we got the aggressive parent. Tends to be fathers, but it can be mothers. These are parents who are strict. They are firm. They demand the best. They give out consequences. They do not play. Those children grow up to be successes. They become doctors and lawyers and business owners. They accomplish some of the most creative things we've seen in our life. But they're also some of the biggest drug addicts undercover. Biggest cigarette smokers undercover. Biggest shopaholics undercover. Biggest depressives undercover. What was the difference? Both parents were out of balance. The passive parent had all love and no discipline. The aggressive parent had all discipline and no love. The only healthy parent is the one in the middle. That's the balanced parent. And what is a balanced parent? Is a parent who knows when to be aggressive 
and when to be passive. And it's an art to being a parent. It's not a skill, it's an art because you've got to perfect the interaction with those group of children. I could give you my two daughters and you might do a great job. You could give me your two sons, I might do a great job. But can I do a great job with my own? And can you do a great job with y'all? This is why some of you say I get along perfectly with my nieces. But me and my daughter don't get along because your niece ain't got to live with you. <laughs> she can go home at night. <laughs> but we got to look at how we're raising our children because a lot of us are breeding envy. 